going to add some decorative slip trailing to the surface of these leather hard pieces. What I use for slip trailing is really just my liquefied clay. I'm not interested in a color change, but more of a surface change. So in an object that you might pick up, if I have some slip trailing on the surface, that's something that you're going to feel in your hand and also experience visually. I'm looking at a consistency of a little bit like a runny yogurt. And because my clay has no sand or grog, I don't have a problem with this going through the slip trailer, the small slip trailer that I have. But if you do have sand or grog in your clay, you could run it through a screen first. In order to get the liquid clay into my little teeny tiny bottle, I take this bulb syringe and I suck the clay up and dispense it into this bottle. There's lots of tools you can use for slip trailing. I'm looking for a really fine line, almost a line that looks drawn. And so the tip I'm going to use looks like this. It's this really, really fine tip, really small opening. And I find that it works really well. It also has a tendency to clog. So I do have this little wire that I use to clean it out in between uses, just like that. I like to start off making sure the consistency is what I'm looking for just on a piece of paper and also get my hand to warm up. So it takes a while getting, getting used to new tools. So I'm gonna make sure that the, the slip is at the bottom of the dispenser. And I might just start drawing some floral patterns, something that I might put on my piece possibly some lines. When I use this, like I said before, I'm really interested in a quick drawn sketch. I'm gonna start at the leather hard stage. And with this form, I'm, I'm looking at it as two pieces, but also as a whole. So I'm thinking about a pattern, something that might go in this section and this section would relate to each other and then this section back here and this section back here might tie into each other. So again, with my rubber tip tool, I'm just gonna draw some, some uh, register lines, setting myself up for the slip trailing. So I'm gonna work on the back end of the piece, just some quick drawn lines. I'm looking for something that looks imperfect, something quick. That can happen if you get a little bit of air in your tool. So what I'm doing is shaking the material back down. Okay, move to the next one. The thickness of your line depends on how you squeeze the tool. So it, all, it depends on the consistency of the slip, but also how you're squeezing the tool and if it's just gonna kind of ooze out or do what you want it to do. So if you're gonna squeeze really hard, I'll do that right now, and move your hand slowly, you're gonna have a thicker line, whereas if you go really quick, it's gonna be thinner. So play around with that. One thing why I like using my clay body is that any type of mess up, you can just do it over. So it's wonderful when I'm not using, working with color. So it gives me a lot of freedom. These are bone dry. And a little bit different from the cream and sugar is that I like to wax this bottom foot ring here because I wanna keep this the natural red clay color. So I'm gonna take my wax and just paint very carefully where I don't want the terra sigillata and underglaze to go. And if you're real careful with your painting of the, the terra sigillata and underglaze, you don't have to do this, but I find that I can get a little bit messy we're going to apply the terra sigillata. I'm going to use a green color for these. I'm going to be applying wherever I have set up the slip trailing. So I've created this texture that's going to look really nice with this terra sigillata. It's not going to mask that, that texture. It's actually going to accentuate it. So again, with my real moppy brush, make sure I get all that stain. I'm gonna 
add this third coat and you'll notice on raised surfaces that the sidge does not adhere as well. And so I actually like that. It, that's when I said it accentuated the lines. So let's burnish this and you'll see it almost rubs away a little bit on those lines. So I've got the Terra Sigillata on in all the areas where I've slip trailed and now I'm gonna switch to underglaze. Two to three coats. So I've put all the underglaze and Terra Sigillata on and now I'm ready to work with my Scraffito tool.